Can we talk about the climate crisis? Oh, yeah. What do you want to say to the people who are just feeling so overwhelmed and scared? Don't be. Here's what I would do about the stock market crisis. Please, Sean, take it away. I know it sounds crazy, but I might print a few more bucks so that we can put that into circulation. And then to fix all of those stonks. Are you printing this money illegally? Are you just, is it counterfeit? Uh... Sean, can you introduce yourself to lovely people? I am Sean the Science Kid, and I teach science to everyone in a fun and interesting way. How long have you been teaching? Since I was four. How old are you now? I am ten. Six years of scientific field work has led to this moment. Yeah! Sean, what kind of job do you want to have when you're older? Neurocardio surgeon, a.k.a. a brain and heart surgeon. Wow. Part-time, I want to be a theoretical physicist. What are your top three facts? Did you know that we have 50% of the genes of a banana? And on the topic of bananas, they emit antimatter. Now, antimatter isn't as dangerous as the quantity it emits. Every hour, it emits what's known as a positron. A positron is the opposite of electron. Slap a negative sign on it, bam, you have a positron. And it collides with an electron, and boom, releases a lot of energy. Yes, I, I think everything you said kind of checks out for me here. I was just kind of fact-checking you the whole time. And guess what? We already have flying cars. What? Yes! There's literally like a brand of car that Mr. Beast used, and he flew. Have you met Mr. Beast? I wish. I wouldn't be like begging him for money, but I would probably be like, hey, what's up? Please give me a million bucks. Anyway, bye. What? do adults not understand about science? That it isn't boring. They think science is ma 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 atoms, ma 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 blah blah blah. But really, it is super fun because you make new discoveries, become ingenuous, and have a lot of creativity, and you might even get to split an atom. Want to ask me some science questions and see what I know? Ooh, yes. What is the first noble gas? Hydrogen. Nope, it's helium. What type of molecule is soap? What? It is made out of lipids, which basically are like magnets, but water. What is Newton's first law of motion? The first law of motion. <laughs> Here's what's happening, Sean. I don't get nervous, but you know so much. Will you judge me if I'm wrong? No, I've been wrong too. Look at me, for example. A theoretical physicist at 10 years old, but still puts his shirts and shoes on backwards. I think a lot of people are afraid of failure, are afraid of being wrong. Can you talk about how like failure and getting things wrong is just part of discovery and science itself? Let's say you are doing an experiment with animals. The first time you try it, it ends up being wrong. Now, there are two things you could do. Give up, become sad, not, not do anything with your life, and just dwell away in your apartment doing literally nothing. Or you could try again and again, learning new things from all your failure until you try it and it works. When you fail, you see all of the things that you did wrong. And this could discourage you, but if you take that as a learning opportunity, then you will succeed. You try it, it works. You're happy. You get a lot of money. You get a private jet. You get a beautiful life. Is that what science is about? No. Yachts and private jets, Sean? Please. <laughs> no, science is about discovery and ingenuity. But that is a byproduct. Can you... T Sean, is there anything that you want to talk about? Mac and cheese. Let's get into it. Oh my gosh, mac and cheese. Wow. If I could marry it, I would. Because mac and cheese, it's like so good. When the cheese melts in your mouth, even though it's already melted. Oh my God. You know what I've gotten into recently? Mac and cheese with frozen peas in it. Ugh. It's so good. Do you like vegetables? Um, not really. Don't get any ideas. Vegetables are so good. Apparently vegetables aren't real. A vegetable is like a culinary term. 
Vegetable doesn't necessarily mean anything. Just like how any other word doesn't mean anything. Like, flossy, notchy, nilly, hilly, pillification is a real word in the English language. That means to estimate something as worthless. But that can't be real! Sean, bring us home. What do you want the people to know? What do you want people to walk away from this video with? Mac and cheese in the best and go into the sciences. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a lovely day. And keep on sciencing! Keep on sciencing! Woo!